Lankesh is really the baby of the family. He was a sweet little chubby boy. He was very intelligent. And the greatest quality I think he has is when he made money more than himself he wanted to do for the family. You know, since we were from lower, we were from the middle class background, air conditions were a far dream for us. And I remember that when we got the first air conditioners, we had it in all our three rooms, that is mummy's, mine and then Rakesh's. Are you a family man? Would you describe yourself as a family man, or that would not be an appropriate uh, description? I don't know how you do, how how you <laughs> describe a family man, but I can tell you one thing. As of the moment, nothing is more important to me than my children, and I can tell you, there is no woman I can ever love in my life other than Rekha Chandula. Come what may. Why do you why did you preface that by saying I can tell you now? Has there been I can tell you ever? You no, never, never. I know he loves me the most. What do you see your children growing up as? I mean, what would you like to see them grow up as? Well, I would like them to s grow if two, three things. They have their mother's nature, my brains, integrity, responsibility, education, and the power to grow. And I, you know, the modern world is all, over, all about human rights and human choice. So I want them, I want to give them the choice to be what, what they want to be. I don't want them to be fund managers. I don't <laughs> want them to be doctors. I don't want them to be lawyers. My daughter wants to be a singer. She wants to be an actress. She wants to be a, you know, now, nowadays she says in school she wants to be a nurse. It's her choice in life. So I want to give them the freedom to be what they want. I don't want them to be fund managers. And I don't think that earning wealth is necessarily the pleasure of every human. So they may not be into the stock market, so be it. The legacy of wealth will not interfere with their ambitions or the way they turn out to be, you think? See, they will have their own ambitions and they will turn out the way they are. I don't know how they will turn out. But I don't want them necessarily to be investors or people who are motivated, you know, who whose professions lead to earning of large wealth. Hmm. So they could be doctors, they could be lawyers, they could be chartered on whatever they want to do in life. Hmm. I want to give them, I want to respect their personal choice and right. Whether in terms of career, whether in terms of marriage, whatever. Are they closer to you or Rekha? <coughs> Well, they are, before the age of two, they'll be surely closer to their mother. But I think Nishta is, daughter is a daughter. She's my princess, yeah. I'm Papa's princess. I want my Papa to become a king and Mama should be the queen. Do you cherish the company of your friends or are all your friends largely from the stock market? Well, my friends are largely from the stock market, but that doesn't mean that our conversation started in with the stock market. I was going to Calcutta for my wedding and the night before I was supposed to leave like me, Rakesh and another friend of us, I think we all had an all night drinking session and the amount of booze we put in was just unbelievable. Like I think between him and me we finished a bottle and a half, one and a half liter bottle of Shiva Srigal. It was more started with more as a client kind of thing but uh, over a period of years it uh, evolved much more meaningful into, you know, he became more like a friend, philosopher, guide, mentor to me. Also, I have, you know, all our friends are all independent thinkers. And nobody is no one's chammach or... So, you know, the discussion is always very lively. We are all opinionated. And you have the humility to accept another point of view? It's because you may think that I'm richer, more successful, therefore I'm right and they're wrong. Never. <coughs> oh, no. I always believe that all adjectives in life are transient and temporary. And you know, maybe if I have some qualities which are not desirable, they're not here because I'm rich or because I'm successful. They are here because that was what I was born with. He was the baby of our family and he was very stubborn. Always he wanted to do what he wanted to do. 